Good morning, welcome back to the channel, Loving Life in Mallorca. I'm Andrew and today we're here with Tom. Introduce yourself, My Tom. My name's Tom, I am a YouTuber. I do food reviews, walk arounds, holiday reviews in Mallorca, Tenerife. And you're um, over on holiday at the moment then? Yeah, I'm on holiday for nine days to the 30th. If you have a, my channel is Tom Herdman's food channel. I go all over, all over the UK as well, do YouTube videos. So what are we going to do today? We're going to make a few films together, aren't we're we, today? We're going to do videos. We're going to do a food review, do you reckon? Yeah, we're going to do a food review, breakfast food review, probably, at um, the local cafe. We're going to do a little bit of everything, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to be doing everything. So without further ado, shall we get on with it? Let's go. Let's go. Right then, Tom, what I think what we've actually decided, there's no plan like normal, but what we're going to do is have a, a little walk up to the port, because Paul, uh, Tom has just telling me he's never been to the port. So give me something to go first, won't it? Yeah, like, should be a nice day. I've got over 1,600 subscribers now. If you haven't subscribed, go over to my channel if you like my content. Yeah, I what do. I'll do is I'll put a link down below for um, in the in the comments bar, and then you know if you'd like to, you can go over and pay him a little visit and see what you think of his channel. Anyway, so we're just walking down on the path next to the beach now. Get some beautiful sunsets over. Have you seen them, Tom? The yeah, it's like nice. Yeah. I arrived uh, on the uh, 22nd, 21st. Yeah, a couple the, of days ago, wasn't it? Yeah, you came. The, the flight was delayed by two hours. Yeah, it's horrible when it's delayed, isn't it? It's... Um, I don't know why we're getting delayed and cancelled now. If you know why, put it in the comments below. Yeah, but we want to know, you know your suggestions, right? Well, nobody really knows why, it's just, it's just what happens, isn't it? Yeah. So we either carry on round the road and end up in the roundabout that has got the buses and the taxi ranks. But we're going to go through the little, um, what do you call it? Walkway. This? Walkway, that's yeah. a good word. Through the walkway. Through the walkway and we're going to end up by the restaurants and we're going to take a right and it's just head towards the Port or the marina, whatever you'd like to call it. Mm. I love it through here. In the summer and it's red hot. Have you come through here, Tom? When yeah. it's red hot, the um the actual trees keep us sheltered, so it's not it's not quite so hot through here. And the market, what day is the market, do you know? Sunday. Oh it's a Sunday market, is it? Sunday, That's normally yeah, through Saturday. here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna come out. During the uh, festival, but the flights are like expensive over the roof. But it's the trouble when when there is something on, they do. You know, the more people book flights, the more um, they go up in price. Unfortunately, that's that's life, isn't it? Yeah. This started Tom off and doing his own video. He's, I'm giving um, him a microphone, so you'll hear us very both hot. talking. Can you up a minute? About twenty. Right guys, so I've walked to the end of the path now. There's a lovely little fountain, it's not on at the moment. So it's just gonna walk up now the steps, past the restaurants and things, and head towards the marina. It's absolutely beautiful. This is my favorite time of the year, if you know what I mean. It's still lovely and warm. The temperature's still in its late 20s, but it doesn't get exceptionally hot, and the evenings get a little bit cooler. So it's ideal if you wanna have a, a little um, sleep at night. If you don't want to sleep at night, please come in August and you'll definitely notice the difference. As you can see here, the tractor's been out and they're raking up the sand. But it's really lovely to see so many people on the beach itself, isn't it? Let's go up the steps. Yeah. So I've gone up the steps now. This is where we're going to turn right, past all the restaurants, cafes, bars, and that sort of thing. We do fancy a bike to eat. Got a nice, nice selection of them along here in the hotels and things as well. And if you walk down some of these alleyways, then you've got a beautiful um, outlook of the beach. So if you do fancy coming to a different resort, even for the day, it's so easy with a bus service. Obviously I'm in the Kudia but the buses are so good. I drove down today, but you, you can come down by bus. As I said, it's really cheap. 
don't forget to use your contactless card in and out and you save yourself a fortune there's so much in Santa Ponta to come and have a look apart from the marina and things there's so many different restaurants shops cafes bars lots of hotels and a and a beautiful beach and the rocky park around the back under the square we'll look at later and if you like your sunsets we'll hang on back to the end and i'll show a beautiful sunset this evening so when you get here you know if i go straight up which takes you to the marina but i always like to come this back way because you can see more of the sea and there's a secret little beach around here lovely sandy beach if you want a little bit of peace and quiet from the other, should I say, then around the corner here, it's a lovely little beach. Have you looked at some of the prices around here at all? They're ever so expensive, but the properties are beautiful around here. So it's just under here behind this fence here. You'll find this beach I'm telling you all about. It's mainly used by locals, as you can see, but you really can't get better than that, can you? It's so peaceful. So I said, if you fancy a little bit of peace and quiet, now, in my opinion, this is the best place to go, just here. So if you fancy coming to this little secret beach, but you don't fancy walking, it's on the main bus route. There's a bus stop just there. And round here, you've, all you've got there is a little, um, little cafe just there. But it's not a lot else, so if you do come here, you've really got to think and bring a drink for yourself. So I've followed the path round, that secret little beach is on my right hand side and it obviously goes into the main sea as well. We've got some beautiful houses round here, a lot of them I've seen building them over the time like this one here. So this is definitely a part of Santa Ponsa you wouldn't come to unless you'd been shown it. Have you ever been round here? Uh, no, not really. Not the same stuff. It's a lovely place though, because as I said, you can see all the sea from here. You can see the beach, you can see these beautiful houses. These are multi-million euro houses, you know. So many, so famous people stay here. Well, not necessarily. I mean, these ones here, these are apartments. They might even be holiday places or rented out. It's a long way from here to Santa Panza Strip. So I've just come to the end now and I've got this wonderful view as he comes out here. You can see just around the corner there, you can actually see Santa Ponza Beach. There's people swimming down there as well. Got rocks down here, bring your scuba mask. You can see lots of beautiful little fish around here, and this ladders in the rocks that you could actually use to get into the water and get out. So, if you bring a picnic, you just fancy a little walk around like I normally do, you just sit here and enjoy it. So back to the walk again. Marina's just over the other side of here. She can see still doing a lot of building work around here. So this here, this is Marina or the port. We'll go down there and have a look around in a minute. But let's just have a look around here because there's some more beautiful shots of the sea here, just around the corner here. So we made it to the um, Santa Ponza port so you can have a look at some of the boats down here we find some clothing shops some restaurants and a couple of bars and a little cafeteria and some places if you if you've got an e-car an electric car you can come and charge it down here so it's 
some money's worth here, isn't there? It's just, it's just not the buying of them, is it? It's well as the upkeep of them. If you think like a car, they've got to be serviced and roadworthy, but a boat's going to be exactly the same, aren't they? It looks really nice, doesn't it? We've seen it from this level, but it's something completely different when you see it from the sky in the drone, isn't it? So these are the shops that sell a boat if you've got a few quid left over after your holiday. So instead of going round the coast road on the way back, I've come like more on the main road, the next road up, which again will join us back up to the, the shops, cafes, and eventually to the taxi and the bus rank of Santa Ponza. But again, you can see all these lovely houses along here and villas. So that's where we saw the secret beach on the way down. It's lovely, isn't it? The paintings they do on the walls. Fancy a drink? bit of tapas or something there's plenty of local bars around just grab yourself a, a coffee on the way so that's the beach again where we started just heading down now towards the main roundabout where the taxis and the buses and things are there so down the bottom there are a good handful of cafes bars tobacco shop just there and there's even a Santander bank just coming up as well. But there's one place in particular that I always go in there for a drink when I'm down Santa Ponza. It's a watering hole. It's a lovely little cafe stroke restaurant. Um, at the back, as I've said to you many times, there's a lovely swimming pool and like a little restauranty thing in the middle. But it does lovely ice creams. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the swimming pool as it goes through the other side. And you can pay extra and have a little swim with you here as well. I mean, that's absolutely lovely, isn't it? To, to spend your afternoon just having a little swim. What is it? Five euros for adults, three for children to use the pool. Isn't it lovely? Let's go and get a cup of tea. Well, I just had a, a drink, a couple of cups of tea in the uh, watering hole, which it was really, really nice. Anyway, let's, what we do is walk up to this roundabout like normal where they do the buses and the taxi ranks from and we'll just walk up the road opposite where the um, the all year shops are as they call them they always go up there any time of the year because they're set for the locals you can have a nice, a nice drink and a bite to eat in the winter months so come on let's go over there then so this is the road I was just telling you about we've got a few restaurants and excursion shops just on the corner Lovely with people wave. And if you want a, an inflatable, even a flamingo just there. So one of the most famous um, hotels in Santa Ponsa, which is this Pirates Village. So further up, there's only a, a few shops, um, there's spec savers up there and things like that. So I'm going to start to walk back now towards the roundabout. This is what I mean by the um, this part of it. It's mainly for locals. It's full of estate agents and um, dentists and things like that down here. As I said, in the winter months, you can definitely find some lovely food down here. The, um, the tourist part of Santa Ponce is well closed for the winter. But you can always find something to eat or drink up this part. So we're out on the bus, bus route here. So I'm just by the roundabout now, like the same with the taxi rank. So we're going to walk, make our way up on the beach path. So you fancy a beer, an ice cream, or just a Coca-Cola or a glass of wine? So we've got a perfume shop, more cafes, 
cafe bars. On the other side of the road is the beach. So that's the path where I started to film from.